But if it pleased the king, and if I found favor in your eyes, would you come to a banquet that I've prepared? See, when the king sees Esther come, something happens in the king. If you read this, amen, we know the story, you can read through it, it's only nine chapters. But when you go and you read, he wanted Vashti to come to him when he called, and she refused. He wanted Vashti to come to him. He was enjoying himself, he was feasting, and he wanted, and she refused to come to the king. But here, without him asking, Esther reverently and humbly approaches to him. And when he sees Esther come in the royal apparel, humble and submissive and reverent, he's moved, he extends the scepter, and he says, what is it that thou want? I will give anything up to half my kingdom. Like, what a statement for this king to make. Why would he make a statement like that? Because he had a queen that wouldn't come at his bidding, and here she comes of her own free will because the king wants fellowship with his queen, amen. The queen, and then she says, would you come to a banquet of wine I've prepared for you? And immediately he said, make haste and make ready. Amen. I couldn't get Vashti to come to me. Not only does this woman come to me, she wants me to come to her. She wants to entertain me. She doesn't want me to entertain her. She wants to welcome me into her house. She wants to entertain me. She wants me to find welcome in her place, in her abode. Amen. God is not looking for the kind of bride, amen, that comes to God's house, amen, to get some benefits and comes only when she wants to, comes to church and comes to get a reward, doesn't come when she doesn't feel like it. He's looking looking for a queen that'll come to him because she comes to him humbly, reverently, and wants him to come to be entertained in her house because God wants fellowship. He doesn't want a queen to stay separated. He wants a queen to come to him and ask him to come to her. He asked her again in the banquet of wine, what do you want? Up to half my kingdom. Listen, this was not, he's not the mayor of Gomer. He, he is the king ruling over almost all the inhabited world at that time. And he's going to give her, he's got a kingdom that goes from India to Ethiopia. And he'll give her up to half the kingdom. She's going to be a joint heir with him. Because he wants a woman that loves him. That comes to him and invites him to come to her. 